Come on then, we're going far, far north. Let's hope we ex well, we uncover a load of new places. Breadwood baby. Oh my god, look at this horse, it's fucking mortal. You know a town's gone to pot when the horses are drunk. My partner wants to say something. There's a ranch out this way run by a lady named Alexandria. Not that I got much hope of her still being alive. Come on Susie, keep your chin up. No, I'm fine as long as we put a stop to this. Right, so we could go there. Redwood Mayor's Office. Problems, let's see the problems. Missing mail, overdue book, stalled logging permit, shoop shortage, skeletons everywhere, missing yeast and robbed bread bank. There's a note at the bottom. Last time a mayor let this list get over three times. We chased him out of town. Oh, let this list get over three items. We chased him out of town with his breadstick nail to the top of his head. L look at the office library. This is pathetic. Howdy may I'm Scott Boulder Balls, here on behalf of the Manifest Destiny Railroad Company. We need to build a bridge in a hurry, so I'm here to cut a deal with you for the lumber. We can scrape together that much wood. What sort of down payment are you offering? Um, You want that much lumber with no payment up front? Are you serious? I can probably offer you a free train rides. I do enjoy a nice train ride, but the deal would be a real problem, and I've already got several problems, okay? I've got to help. I'd certainly welcome any assistance you could offer. Look at the problems board. I've already looked at it. So, I want to offer help with the skeleton raids. Can I? Our last batch of mail never got here. We don't know something happened to the mailman. Talk to Reginald in the bunkhouse. I want to get, I want to do all of his problems. Alexandria. That's what um, Susie was talking about. Logging permit, ghost wood, okay. Soup, soup shortage. We keep a municipal soup kitchen open to help those who are dropped down in the luck with pretty much everybody around here. But we've run out of soup and need someone to fetch some more from soup stock load. Okay. Stolen yeast, brewery, and the last one we have to go through. Da 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 da. Nice, Baker Boy's hideout. What about the buttery biscuit? Oh, it's a new. Oh, look, they're playing that day. I forgot what it's called. Five finger of. Are they playing? Reminiscing about good times. Oh, that's Susie. Well, well, looks like some poor son of a biscuit wandered into town. Howdy, cake sucker. Wow, jeez, rude and baffling. Get used to it. We like our cousin here on Breadwood. Sure, fine, but cake sucker? We also like our breads and bread-related products, so I've noticed. Ask about the guy washing dishes. The muffin lover ran up a tab he couldn't pay off, so now he gets to wash dishes. Some of them dishes I've been saving for such an occasion. How much does he owe? 150. I'll pay it. You're even dumber than I assume, but whatever, you can tell him he's free yourself. Okay. Ask about the darts. Ain't got no darts. Okay. Alright, mate, you're free at last. What do you do that for? 
We're just being charitable. Well, thanks, but I don't know how to do pretty much nothing except washing dishes. Nothing at all. Well, I can also wash clothes, and I can play the washboard. That's pretty much it. Send him to dirt water. Nice. Another spittoon. Let's see what item we get out of this. Pair of boots. Spit soap boots. Plus three AP. Mm. I think I prefer the, the 20 health if I'm honest. I owe you one piano. What are these guys up to? Ask them. The man with the black hat has a huge pile of meat in front of him. The man with the white hat looks broken and sad. What you playing, fellas? Pharaoh. But I wouldn't say we're playing. I'd say we did play until this cowpoke ran out of money. How does it work? It's easy. You bet 50 meat and then you name as many pharaohs as you can. Every time you name one, I give you 20 meat. Wait, what? If those are the rules, how did this guy lose all of his meat to you? He's real bad at it. Come on then, well, this is going to be a scam. Alright partner, start naming pharaohs. Tutankhamun. Well everybody knows that one, what else you got? So I've got 20 meat. You don't know the names of any more pharaohs. Maybe you can get away with just making some up. I got one. Dendon Wakadre. <laughs> he grumbles and hands it. Ramaton Ket. And that's it. That's all we can go at the moment. That's all I got. Tables closed, get lost. So at least we made a little bit back. Trade with it. It's just a trading post. Advanced bean craft, that is all of mine. Thank you very much. Desert eating and drinking. The foraging skill. 2000. How much have I got? Where's my money? Five grand, fuck me. A monkey wrench. Provides the option to wrench things in certain places. Mushroom plucking pliers. Huh. Wet boots, hot resistance. I'm gonna buy it. 2000. Fuck it, let's do it. Nice. Unfortunately, while practicing your techniques, you accidentally squeeze the book into book juice, which it turns out isn't a real thing. Let me have a look at this. Foraging. You can forage basic goods from cacti. You can forage high quality goods from cacti. I'm saving up a thousand for lock picking, so I'm not going to be doing that, but I can do basic stuff, which is good. Okay. I think we've seen everything here. This well is not well. Bunkhouse. What? How many lockpicks do I have? I've got three. Mm, I'm going to do it. Halloway's pin. Plus five spell damage. I mean, that's really good. 20 health, but I want to leave me spell damage as it is. Hello, my friend. I'm Hobart Boopet. Hi, Hobart. You seem to be travelling sword. Mind doing a fellow a favour? What's a favour? My only dream in life is to see an owl skeleton. Petten cemetery. Okay, exactly. Da, 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 da. I haven't got meat for a ticket. You want a loan? No. I got no prospects of paying it back, but I got a camera. And I figured if you went to the cemetery, you could take a picture of the owl skeleton and bring it back to me. Sure, I'll do that. Nice. Okay. I'll... <laughs> I'll be back. Who the fuck are you? Um, the mayor's got me investigating some shit. Oh yeah. I gave up being a mailman a couple of years ago, but I doubt they've changed the system much. All the mail headed here used to go through the way station just southwest of here. I'll mark it on your map. 
thank you. We've got so much to do from this single town, it's, it's crazy. Can we dig any of these up? Foraging 2, okay. Okay, we need Foraging 2 to do that. I'll not use it yet. I'm going to go to the petting cemetery and get this out of the way. Take his picture of the owl. Who's this? An odd flash of light nearby prompts you to stop and investigate. You discover a goblin with a strange hinge board covered in shiny foil, which they're using to reflect sunlight onto a pair of leather boots. Tanning. I'm a tanner. You tit. Um, sun using to make things very tan. I don't think that's how it works, but I guess you're the expert. What? Offer to trade magic for boots. Nice. That's good. Plus seven moxie. Plus one maximum AP. Awesome. Nice. Yeah, I feel I feel bad killing the goblins because I think they're actually really nice. Tickets. Hmm. Howdy, welcome to the Gorman Lancaster's one and only Petten Cemetery. It's educational and entertainal, and only 500 meat for a lifetime pass. I can try and feed them. That's exorbitant. It's a lifetime membership. If you were younger, it'd be it'd be worth more. Fair enough. Okay, let's get in. Take a picture of the owl. Bing bang bong. Camera was made for a single purpose. I've used it. Ah, oh, pet it. Nice. Spell damage is increased for the rest of the day. That is pretty damn cool. I wonder what else they. I wonder what these do because it didn't actually tell you, does it? And help you change a wheel on your wagon. Right, so we've done that. Where else are we headed? Madness more mine. I've got no idea what to do there. Baker boys hide out, let's do that. The Baker boys. These teenagers seem dispirited. Are they they're trying to drown their souls with big mugs of water? Maybe they misunderstood the idiom. You wouldn't know about some bread that went missing, would you? Oh nuts. I told you we'd get in trouble, Billy. Shut up, Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Jerry. Shut up, Jerry. We're just a blab everything, dude. Calm down, you two. It ain't that simple, mister. We sold the bread for meat to start up this bakery. Because we wanted to make something out of our lives. Everyone in bread was just bums. Okay. Okay, well, no problem. We take the mayor the bread you've made and call it even. Oh yeah, no problem, except for the fact that we don't know a dang thing about making bread, it turns out. Or we end up with this weird lumps. Oh, that ain't true, Billy. The last loaf we tried was almost right. Yeah, sure. That one was nearly edible, but we practically out of ingredients. Maybe I can help. I know someone. I do. I forgot who it is, though. We said we could send someone to a bakery, but I don't know where they are. It's been such a long time. I might know someone who would help you. Do you know Louise Lathrop? No, who's that? She might just be the solution to your problems. Let me head on over to where she lived and talk to her for you. God, oh, I meant I can do it automatically. Go there now. I like how the game did that because the game's so big, you just can't remember everything. Not her. It's not him, he's a raster. Oh yes, the army hat, I forgot about that, yes. Oh, that's four muscle, terrible. Yeah, groovy baby. I do know a bakery. 
really wonderful. Oh, geez, I can't go like this, though. I'm filthy. Nobody would ever let me step foot into their kitchen looking like this. Do you have a bar of soap? Sure. There you go. Everything requires fucking foraging. Does anything require regular foraging? I've just got that skill for nothing. Um, pick a boy. I got a hand at you. You nearly got me. Good job. Look at this legend. Foolish woman is falling to my cleaver trap. Now you are giving me valuables or I'm beating you up. Goblin tongue baby. I'll fox it. 30 XP. Nice. Thanks for sending Louise over. She knows a ton about bacon. Yeah, we're going to be a major league bakers with her around. 40 leaves of bread. Nice, so that's for the mayor. We've sorted that out. Where to next? Soup stock load. No idea what to do here. Ooh, reboot hill. Gigantic cemetery. Right, we'll, we'll go there later. Dynamite and sulfur match. Oh, we've got a hammer. Finally, we've got a hammer. And a monkey wrench. Amazing. That was well worth the lockpick. Boiling soup. I need more lockpicks. A cultist mask. Oh, this is good. Oh, that is perfect. We've finally got a decent mysticality hat. What did my old hat do? Yeah, it was only three. I've like doubled it. Nice. I love the way my guy looks now. Entry one. This mine is the worst. It sucks so bad here. I've been in some lousy mines, but this one really takes the cake. Everything smells like soup. The walls are sick, slick with it. I swear I can feel it getting into my pores. Continue. Finally managed to get deep enough to hear the master, but it turned out Dang's soup table is higher than we thought. We're spending 90% of our time bailing the stuff out and only 10% digging. Elevator's busted. I had to spend the whole day scrounging around to find replacement. Okay. What says we're giving up? Okay. Okay, so three thousand two hundred. Four hundred and eleven. Right, so wait there, let's do this. 411, 822. Let's see how close we can get first. Three thousand two hundred. So what does this do? 161. Four, five, six. Right, I need a fucking pen. Need a pen. I'm getting a pen. Well, I'm not getting a pen. I'm getting a, a mobile phone. So, where is Word? Microsoft Word, baby. There it is. Right. 
new document please right so bolt 3 is Eight six seven. That's not right. It changes every time. You cannot even. You cannot do what I thought it was. Right. So one two seven eight. So what we do here is. One two. Oh. Three two. Oh oh. Divided by one, two, seven, eight. I can press that two point five times. So I've pressed it once, press it twice. It changes. How the fuck are you supposed to do this? The numbers change every time. Four one one, eight twenty two, thirty three. Right, so wait there. Three two oh oh divided by four one one, seven. So I can press that seven times. What does this do? One two three three. One two three three minus one five two eight equals. 295 this is ridiculous like I'm, I'm not even gonna try and figure this out because I'm just simply not clever enough I'm just gonna fucking mash it <laughs> I'm just gonna mash it so wait there 3200 minus 411 equals 2789 Oh, so as long as you don't come, as long as you don't step out of it, it stays the same. Okay then. So that's. Oh, so this makes sense now. It makes sense now. As long as I don't come out of it, I can work it out. Um, Microsoft Word again. So number three is four one one. Number five is. I don't know yet. Number seven is number seven is five seven two. Ah, oh, fuck off, Firefox. Calculator five seven two minus four one one equals one six one. Number seven is one six one. Number five is. 867 minus 572. 867 minus 572 equals 295. Right, let me put that into my calculator. Shit, what was it? 295. 295. 295. Right, so with them numbers. Oh. Calculator can't open in multi window. Great, great Android phone. Well done. Can't fucking multi-window a calculator just when I need to. Fuck me. So wait there. I need a different calculator. Not other calculator is gonna be on me fucking laptop. Calculators. So, 3200 minus 161. No. Yeah, minus 161. Actually, I've got a. Nah, 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 that's not how I'm doing it. Wow, wow I'm 
gonna write these num it'll be easier if I write these numbers on my fucking laptop and then use my calculator in my hand. What a fart on this is. Where is word Yes, 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 yes. So three four one one five two nine five seven one six one right right so first off three thousand two hundred divided by one six one equals nineteen point eight seven So 19 times 161 equals 3059. One four one. One four one. So I need to earn 161 times 2 equals plus 20 equals 342 how do I make 342 or a multiplication of that 342 is not possible right wait there 3200 divided by 295 10 250. No. Fuck it. No, I can't even work this out. There's no way I can work this out. Fucking boosh, boosh, boosh. Fucking just random numbers. Watch this. I'm a beast at this. 3012. 3200 minus 3012. 188. I can't make 188. Right, fucking over. Minus 2922. 2922. 278. Can I make 278? Can I fuck? Close. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, eight, two, four. Three hundred and seventy six. Oh, I can't fucking make three seven six. See what I can make. 161 plus 295. 456. I've got to get as close to 2744 as I can. to it fuck me two or five six two or five six 1,144. Can I make 1,144 of them numbers? Minus 411 equals 155. 
Ah, oh, fuck. Plus 411, plus 411. 733. 322. Ah, oh, dear. Nah, man, I'm not clever enough. I'm certainly not clever enough. Random. Two seven six two. Oh, that's a new number I've never seen. Oh wait, I've got to be close now. 3200 minus 2984. 206. I can't get 206! Fuck off, man! Do a bigger one with bigger numbers. The gauge now says 2691. That this is a lot easier using bigger numbers than fucking loads of smaller numbers. I'm gonna use this one right so Oh it went back to normal What the actual fuck? Two seven eight nine. Fuck my life. This lift, like, are you fucking bothered? Ah, oh, can I be care? I didn't fucking care. Got online, didn't give a fuck about this. Like, what am I, some sort of fucking mathematical genius? Like, um, west of low thing is fucking shit. Well, it's not shit, like, this puzzle's fucking dog shit. West of Lawton lift puzzle. Just give us the answer, I'm fucking bored. Right, how are So I need four of these one, two, three, four, one, seven, a five, seven, 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 
seven, seven, seven, seven, seven, and a five. There you go, man. Fucking beast of games, me like. Fucking pricks. How, I didn't even know how long I've spent on that. I've spent like 3,000 hours on that single puzzle. Where's my timer gone? 35 minutes! No way, I've probably spent 20 minutes on that stupid fucking puzzle. Oh, why hello there. I need the keystone. Oh, well that's good. At least we know where this is for future reference. Oh, a bunch of fucking snakes. Grab some. Uh oh. Sixty-six, seventy-three. See ya. Just managed to make it out there alive. How much? Forty XP, is that it? Right, we're not fighting them anymore. So that's all that was there, right? Let's just get out of here. Reboot Hill. Dig it up. Gold Skull. Just sell it. Reboot Hill. Reboot. The, there was a, a kids' TV program that was a, called Reboot back in the day. It was so revolutionary. I used to love it. I used to come home from school on a Friday and watch that. And it was like computer generated graphics. And it was mind blown at the time. Whoa. There's a keyhole in the trunk of this tree. But I can't do anything with it. Swim, my pretty. Oh, look, there's a dead girl. You see the ghost of an elderly woman, sorry, holding flowers. Howdy, mom, is there something I can help you with? It's so awful, I can't remember, I can't remember at all. Let's start at the beginning, okay? Well, you say you had four daughters, they married four brothers, the Smith boys, and after that, they each had five daughters of their own. Unfortunately, I, I outlived every one of the 24 of them. You know you're a ghost, right? I died in this graveyard, da 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 da. 95 years, what do you forget? I bought this bouquet of flowers to put on my favourite granddaughter's grave, but I can't remember which of them was my favourite. I'm so ashamed. I can't bear to leave until I've remembered. Maybe I can help you figure it out. No problem. Can you remember anything about your granddaughter? Certain her first name ended in a vowel. Okay. End in vowel. I remember I was 40. When she was born. Oh no, 37. Or was it 42? Must have been somewhere in that range. Anything else? 40. 37 to 42. First name was longer than a last. Just like mine. First name ended in vowel. Now what is I've got a I've got a I've got a fucking great idea. I'm taking a picture of the screen. 
<laughs> right. I've got a picture of that, that information. Anything else? She wasn't buried next to any of my daughters. She passed at the same age as poor Becky, who was always in such ill health. Her favorite hobby was knitting. I think I know who she was. Right. Little Becky Smith. So let's have a look at the information we've got. She's 95. I forgot she hasn't told us the fucking first part of the thing. Fuck my life. Oh my lord. You uncover a coffin that was apparently delivered by mail because it still had the address printed on it. Don't go that way. Ah, look at this. This is more like it. This has got more information. Something about knitting. Mammoth skin cap. Okay. Wedding. Oh my god, I've made a fucking mistake. Dead. Oh well. And let's go back. Reboot Hill. This is so difficult. First name ended in a vowel. I don't know the year. Like what year are we in now? Or when did she die? She wasn't buried next to any of my daughters. How, how would I even know this? She passed at the same age as poor, poor Becky. Right, let's just find Becky. Becky. Is there any other Beckys before we even look at this?
Oh, fuck me. There's four Beckys. What is, what is this even? But this makes no difference, no relevance, unless I know her fucking age and she doesn't say the thing. How old she is anymore? I'm fucking going on the internet again just to find the first part of her conversation. Oh, this fucking game is it's terrible on certain puzzles when it doesn't give you the information again. You have to actually screenshot everything so you can guarantee you get the fucking information again. West of Low Thing Becky. granddaughter's name. I don't want the answer. I just want to know the conversation. Right, so the information I've got here is the ghost is 1800 to 1895, which apparently was in the first bit of conversation. 1800 to 1895. So she's, ni she's 95 years old. 1800, 1800. Right, so I remember when I was 40, 37, or 42. Right. When she was born. So it's going to be 18. Fuck. I've already forgot the fuck. 1840, 37, or 42. Right. Get me out of this. Get me out of this screen. 1840, 18, 37, or 42. Eighteen forty. Right, so that's a possibility. And the clue was pictures. A name ended in a vowel. So that is right. Penultimate Becky Smith. Could be that. Could be Leslie. Can it be that? Can it be that? 1837 could be the first Betty Smith. That can't be that. Doesn't end in a vowel.
Oh, 37. No man, this one. Meredith Smith. Doesn't end the vault. 1840. E. Ends in a vault. It's got to be this one, either Magdalene Smith or Penultimate. Penultimate. Right, so it end, begins with a P. No, it wasn't her. Right? What about Magdalene? Oh, so you have to try it each day. Okay then. Well, I need to rest. This is a nightmare, this. Like, these puzzles are fucking out of this world. Give me my bed. Wanna get this done? I'm never criming. Goblin tongue and out fox. Yeah, baby. It's better fucking be it. Mag... Magdalene. Ah! Fucking... Fuck you! Eighteen forty-one. Forty, thirty-seven, or forty-two. Can't be that. Thirty-seven, forty, or forty-two. Leslie. Could be Leslie Smith. Fucking back here again. I'm just going to brute force it. It's the only way to do it. Good news. Happy days. I wish it was a faster way to fucking spend the days. Come on, baby, let us out. Leslie. To be honest, you could just brute force. Fort Memoriam. You could just brute force it because there's only a limited amount of choices when you speak to the ghost. What did we say it was Leslie? Ah! Fucking, fucking, fuck you, you fucking bitch! I fucking hate ghosts. I want to exterminate the cunt. Has to be thirty seven. Can it be that forty seven? No. 
39. Unless we call it in that range. Maybe it could be this. Fuck, it could be anything. It could just be anything. Can it be fear? Can it be that? It could be that. Couldn't be that. Meredith. Can I be Meredith? We've tried Mag Magdalene. Melissa. It could be Melissa. It can only be two more things, it's either Melissa or... Shit, who was it? I've lost the other person. Melissa or Patricia? Fuck me. I need to write this down. Melissa! Leslie. Melissa, Patricia or Leslie. That's what we're going on. Oh, have we already tried Leslie? We've already tried Leslie, so it's got to be Melissa or Patricia. Brute forcing this bullshit. What a load of fucking wank. Just want to see what happens. I'm going to go with Melissa first. Fight the cunt. You're fucking kidding me. Why is he doing so much damage all of a sudden? Forty XP. Is that it? Melissa. Way it's fucking Mel. Of course, how could I forget? And poor sweet Melissa, fuck that bitch. Granny drifts over to her tombstone and gently places a bouquet at the base. Both Granny and the flowers fade into nothingness. This is set for a single flower that remains ghost flower. Amazing. At least we got something good out of it. Right. What have we actually have in our offhand before? Three mysticality, we don't need that anymore, do we? The ghost flowers really got eleven spell damage. Nice. Bloody Nora. There better not be a even more bullshit here. Ah. 
That's alright. <laughs> Someone's chilling out in the graveyard. Right, I want to finish up this graveyard and that'll be the end of this episode. Okay, pick a lock. Inside the tombstone is a document with a weird little metal object. Read the document. Des describe a tontine, a burial wishes of Sam Feathersmith in a weird sequence of letters. Right. Picture time. I bet you we need this another time. Picture. Got him. Inside the tombstone, take the object. Key fragment. Safe cracking. Right, okay, another one. Got the picture. So we need safe cracking to be able to get into that. So I imagine that's for, for much later. I don't know where to get safe cracking. It's going to be a book we buy somewhere. Further in. My name is Bernard, but lower your voice, they'll hear us. They're reanimating dead people's skeletons. I don't want to be reanimated. That sounds horrible. Um. Well. Please, could you do something? I don't want to find them. Okay, I know where it's safe. I'll let you know when it's safe. Okay. Um. They're reanimating dead people's skeleton, they don't want to be reanimated, right? So we've got to stop these people. But the people here are so hard. They can nearly take us out in a single hit. So with that in mind, I'm going to put that lapel on. Stop us dying. Oh, I want to, don't want to do that. Oh, hello. You're not going to get past this barrier of will and bones without well making it. So there's no barrier of will and bones here. Mr. Cutlety. Boosh! Oh, look, we've found the necromancers. Wait a while and see what happens. You hide behind a tombstone and wait. After a few moments, the skeleton rests itself from the cultist's control and goes on a rampage. Bones and teeth fly everywhere, and none of them belong to the skeleton. If that gives you any indication of how the fight turns out. Seemingly satisfied with the carnage it has caused, the skeleton scratches something into the ground and then shuffles off to the church. Nice, the fundamentals of Nex Mex. Rare skeletal buddy skill, that's phenomenal. Yes. Read it. Oh, look at that. Examine skeleton bones in your inventory to enchant them. White hair. Your hair has gone prematurely white due to your meddle in the affairs of the of the netherworld minus three moxies. It's a good job we don't use moxie. This is so cool. Discipline slip. You read over the infraction listed on the slip. Looks like one of the cultists was gathering dangerous mushrooms. Right, so that's all we can do there, but we can go back to this guy and tell him that everyone's gone. I 
I took care of them already. A worry stone. <laughs> okay, cheers mate. Right, that's it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Breadwood. You've crossed paths with Wandering Sally, you bet. A lucky marigold, it's not very good. It hasn't really got anything. I've already got one soap, so I don't need it. Nah, I don't need anything off her. Oh, I've got advanced bean craft, look. Eureka! You find the discipline slip that mentioned dangerous mushrooms. If only you know more about my ecology. Yeah, if only. Alright. Where's my advanced bean craft? What can we learn? Cooking bean dishes so small that they have to be served intravenously gives blood beans a skill that lets you regenerate health during combat. That is amazing. Increases your mysticality. Reduces an opponent's must. I'm going to get the blood beans. Now we can finally regenerate 3 HP per round of combat. That's pretty dog shit, but at least we've got it now. Never mind. Right, let's get back to Redwood. Reduces the frequency of random encounters. That's not too big of a deal. Right, I'm going to save it there. We're going to call that there for an episode. Next episode when we get back, I'm going to go back through Breadtown. Well, actually, I'm going to go and see the mayor. Hand in all my quests and then see what I've got to do from there. Because uh, if, if I'm honest, I've got so much to do. I've lost track of everything. Hope you enjoyed the episode. It's been my... The last two episodes have had fucking really frustrating quests on them. They've been ridiculous. But we've persevered, persevered and we've brute forced our way through them. <laughs> Sometimes it's good being thick. Because you can just keep pounding away, pounding away until you get the answer. No brain power required at all. See you in the next one, lads.